So let's do a few more. We're going to solve this using inverse operations. So here, again, we're solving for the variable. Circle it. Draw a line to separate the sides. This is negative 4 times w, so I'm going to divide negative 4. Okay, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. Okay, that was my way of making that number go away and make the variable by itself equals. Okay, so 28 divided by 4. We have a negative divided by a negative. Now, does that make it a positive? Two negatives, when you divide two negatives? Yes, so that becomes a positive 7 because 4 times 7 equals 28. So be careful, this is a positive 7. Or if you just write 7 without the plus sign, that's okay. And then number 2, and you're solving for n. I'm going to separate my sides. So here, again, I need to get rid of this number. Do not divide this number, okay? Do not try to, you know, move this number. Don't use this. We're going to try to get rid of this number because that's what's next to the variable. And again, we're trying to get the variable by itself. So divide negative 8. And again, I divided because I was negative 8 times n. Dividing is the inverse operation. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Negative divided by negative is a positive. This becomes 10 because 8 times 10 is 80 equals, one away, left with n. Okay, same thing here. Okay, and I know some of you guys can still do this in your head. If you can, that's fine, but it's important to know inverse operations and know how to do this, how to do this, uh, these steps because later on, the equations are going to get a lot harder. And so if you know how to do it this way, then um, solving equations becomes really easy. So just try to practice it a few times. Just keep practicing. Circle the variable because that's what you're solving for. To get the variable by itself, I have to get rid of this number. Divide. Divide. This goes away. This becomes negative 2. Again, positive divided by negative. I only have one negative sign, so my answer is a negative. 11 times 2 is 22. That's why it's a 2. Equals K. So there's my answer. Okay, if, if you want, you can flip this and make it k equal to negative 2. Or not flip, but switch the sides. Okay, you can write it like that. Okay, the last one, we're going to circle the a. This is 9 times a, so divide the 9, inverse operation, to get rid of it. 45 divided by 9 is 5. I only have one negative, so that answer stays a negative, equals A. And that is my answer. Okay, so that's it for uh, these multiplication equations. Thank you for watching Educator.com.